This is Cadillac Unscripted on 107.9 CDY. It's sponsored by Independent Bank. We do this every Saturday morning at 8.30. And, of course, uh, you'll find this show on our YouTube page a little later on in the weekend. Katie Huckle is back after a vacation last week. We had a good time with Dave and Teresa. Uh, we just act, Actually, we just heard the show earlier this morning because you didn't know this, but we were off the air oh, last no. week due to no. a transmitter issue. And uh, luckily, uh. luckily enough... That content wasn't so dated that we couldn't rerun it this morning. So we, we just heard the show we did two weeks ago earlier. And now we've got the show for this week now here yes. on 107.9 CDY. And we've got Caitlin Kearns, Beth Joseph, and Ashley Remington, who are all members of the Cadillac Leadership Class of 2024 this morning. It, it, you know, I get this vibe that these ladies make things happen, Rich. I can just tell by talking to them. They've got notes and they're so full of energy. So we want to hear about what you're doing. Let's start with you, Beth. Well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Is this thing on? It is. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. <laughs> I can hear you. Check. Okay. All right. Good. Well, thanks so much for having us in your studio and you're very welcoming. We really appreciate it. Um, we are uh, three of the, what, 16 members of the current Cadillac uh, Chamber Leadership uh, Group for this year not it's not a calendar year sort of what september to may or something like that 2023 24 yes exactly Mm -hmm. um and so uh we would would love to if it's okay with you talk to you um and the community about um the project that we chose as our leadership group and um some of the efforts that we are um are putting forth uh to support that I think that would be wonderful. And for for our listeners that don't know what the Cadillac Leadership Group is, um, businesses in the community send a delegate from their company to the Chamber of Commerce for leadership development, and it's called Cadillac Leadership. The leadership class learns all about the community, everything from industry, manufacturing, to education, finance, all of those things. There's a media day. There's a legislative day. I mean, you you guys have gone to Lansing, haven't you? Yeah, two Mm -hmm. weeks ago. It was really nice. We had one of the leading experts in all things Lansing, uh, Patrick. T. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Consumers Energy. Local. Yeah, local Everett boy. Yep. So, so my, yeah. So then uh, what happens is the leadership group picks a project. They, they get submissions and they pick a project that will better the community. And that's what these ladies are here to talk about. So, Beth, can you tell us what the project is and, and how you came to choose this as a group? Sure. I would love to. Um, uh I could start, why don't I switch that around? I'll start with how we came to choose it. Um, I think in the past, uh, the projects have been chosen by the groups in different kinds of ways. But this year, um, our amazing coordinator, Bethany Miller, uh, put together for us a Shark Tank type presentation selection and we invited over a dozen different organizations uh, from the community to come and do a very quick uh, a l- little bit of more than an elevator speech uh, version. Um, <laughs> and some people, uh, you know, had a PowerPoint. Some people just came and talked to us. And some folks, like the the uh, Club Cadillac, who we chose, brought a skit and <laughs> some of their um, their clients and everything t- together to, to tell their story in a very creative way. So it was a very difficult decision and we, we narrowed it down and we hemmed and hawed and we got to know each other a lot. Uh, we were just new to- together as a group at that point and we got to know each other by coming uh, make that decision making process and we put a lot of thought into it and ultimately we did choose um, Club Cadillac because we thought that they their project would have the most meaningful impact and that they wouldn't necessarily have the um, other uh, resources to complete it. So I will then answer your first question, which is what is our project? Club Cadillac, for those of you who are not familiar, is an organization um, through uh, through the community mental health, which um, is a community for people with a diagnosed mental health issue. So folks that are in recovery from some kind of a mental illness event, and they come together in a extremely communal, mm-hmm. supportive, 
nurturing environment um, to support their own recovery and each other's recovery in a very um, team like manner um, and they do so at their clubhouse with their with a garden and a kitchen and several different programs where they um, they grow their own food they prepare their own food they serve each other they uh, uh, they uh, preserve food for the winter, all sorts of things. And so their garden was lovely. A few garden beds, the people who were involved in it really, you know, really got a lot out of it, but it was extremely limited in the ability of folks with different physical abilities to be able to get out there and garden. It was limited in our lovely climate, as I see today, um, <laughs> of the nice, warm, sunny days and the length of the growing season for what they could produce. So they wanted to have have a greenhouse um, to, to lengthen their um, growing season as well as uh, a better accessibility to those garden beds. Um, and so that's what that was born. They had a vague idea of what they wanted, and together a group of a subcommittee of ours and a and a, a delegation from from Club Cadillac worked together on the ins and outs of the dimensions and whatnot. And the and the structure is ordered, right? It's been ordered already. Oh, wow. We've raised enough to go ahead and and order the actual hoop part of the greenhouse, and we're working now on the funding for the. Um, the surface uh, that will be a you know t uh, pavers or something like that mm -hmm. so that folks in a uh, wheelchair or a walk or any kind of mobility uh, struggles can can uh, access that different heights of uh, garden beds so that people who are you know who can stand or sit or whatever more comfortably can all do that so we're really excited about that project um, we think we made the right decision what do you guys think did we make the right decision yeah. This, this is a question for any one of the three of you, and I know having talked with past members of the Cadillac Leadership Clubs, or not clubs, but, but, but programs from year to year, they all say there is so much more going on in Cadillac, uh -huh. in and around Cadillac, than I ever realized. Mm -hmm. So how much did any of the three of you know about Club Cadillac before you made this decision? Who's going to... Caitlin's going to address that yeah, one. To be honest, I did not know about Club Cadillac when before they had our little Shark Tank event, and it was really interesting to hear about Club Cadillac, and it, it really sat with my heart well to know what, what this facility was out here doing for these for people who have these kind of disabilities or ailments. So when we when we visited, you could just tell. When you went there, the vibes were amazing. Everybody was so happy and you could tell that they were learning and they were growing and it really sat well with everybody. And I think after we visited, we were like this, this is what we are doing. And we felt so good about it. I just remember leaving and thinking, this is so amazing that we get to be a part of this. Awesome. That's awesome. So you need to raise more money. Yes. How much money do you need to raise to make the whole dream come true? What's the total here? 30,000 30, is what our main goal is to build the the greenhouse. Of course, if we raise more, it's, it will be very helpful. We have a couple of things in mind if we do raise more money on what we can do for the, the greenhouse as well as like additions. But as of right now, the greenhouse is $30,000. Okay. And we were able to put a down payment. Thank you to all those sponsors who are a part of that to make that happen so far. Okay, so how, where are you at your, to date? We are at 61% right now, so oh, wow. we are very close, mm -hmm. but we are, we're getting in the crunch zone right now, mm -hmm. so we really want to get this done by May, and it is almost April, so yes, yes okay. so we are getting there. Well, because you're the raffle lady, let, yes. can you tell us about this raffle? Yeah, so we have right now, and it's ongoing, so we're in week four of a progressive Queen of Hearts and King of Diamonds raffle. It is a weekly drawing, so if you buy tickets one week, it is only good for that week. The drawing takes place on every Tuesday at one o'clock. Um, the next drawing will be on April 2nd, and um, you have a chance to pay $10 for a raffle ticket and choose an envelope that's available. So we have all the numbers laid out, so if you were to come to one of us, us and see what numbers were available we would be able to give you those numbers I'll also let you know how much is available so in the Queen of Hearts jackpot there is $795 available so if you were a lucky 
a winner winner chicken dinner that week <laughs> and you got your your card was drawn you would win $795 and if you were choosing the king of hearts or king of diamonds sorry raffle you would win $705 for that raffle so it's really interesting to see um, everybody who is drawn as long as that card is available is a winner so there's options to win $5 $10 $15 and um, it's really interesting to see how it plays out every week because we're constantly selling tickets but we're also trying to find new people who want to take part um, the drawing is live every Tuesday at one o'clock and if you're interested the Facebook page the Cadillac leadership Facebook page is page is where you can watch that raffle weekly oh that's exciting how much are tickets tickets are ten dollars a piece okay. and you can reach out to the Chamber of Commerce if you're interested in purchasing a ticket or one of the leadership um, members as well so we have a list of our Cadillac leadership members who have been featured on the Cadillac leadership page if you're interested Okay. There was a lot of discussion that went through in your group uh, to, to come to the conclusion that Club Cadillac was going to be the beneficiary of this. So tell me about the discussion of putting this fundraiser together and how you came to do this particular thing. Well. <laughs> that... <laughs> Boy, I, don't I don't know what to make of that reaction. I wish you could see their faces. Yeah. There were there were a lot of different discussions. ideas and discussions thrown out, and with you know with the rise in certain costs and the availability of weather in Michigan, we had thrown a couple ideas out together, like a like a uh, cornhole toss and uh, a dinner but um, we we have agreed on a dinner and we'll give you more in information on that but um, we did think that this would be a lot easier to raise a, like a bigger amount of money in a shorter amount of time so we have it's just it's a little bit more work for each of us during a long event um, amount of time um, where like a, a like a small event like the cornhole would be like crunch time we'd have mm -hmm. to get it all done in one day and then if we raised enough we would be okay but if not we would have to figure out something else mm -hmm. trying to avoid weather dependent things yes it's mm -hmm. interesting in, in michigan definitely yeah, well and, and the other thing that we see is duplicity and we, we you see the same thing being done over and over and people are like you know so this is something new which i think gives it excitement and i think it gives it momentum yes definitely mm -hmm. i haven't that there's a couple other places that we've seen that have done this event and they have had a really good turnout so we thought yeah, we have we have a good amount of people who can take part weekly and get the tickets sold. So it's been really interesting to watch us all to come together and share uh, uh, what we've done that week and how we're going to move forward the next week. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to throw out one of my Katie cakes, and it's not it's not for your raffle, and it's not obviously the raffle is about money, but and it's not even for the dinner. I'm going to make one of my Katie cakes for the leadership class member who sells the most amount of tickets. Oh my. Ooh. There you go. Oh. Double down that way. Double down. Because has, it's has, about bragging rights. Well, yes. has anyone in this room tasted a Katie cake before? No, no I have Okay. Not. Let me mm -hmm. tell you something. You are in for a mm -hmm. treat. Mm -hmm. So, so let's, go out and let's, sell let's those fire tickets. up the troops. Let's fire up the troops and sell more tickets. Because how many more weeks of ticket sales are there? So it's right up until the King of Diamonds or the Queen of Hearts is drawn. So okay. we, we probably have about four, four to six weeks left, depending on. Hopefully. Yeah, right. hopefully, depending on if it's drawn or not. So every time we have a drawing, we're like holding our breath. It. We're like, <gasps> and then it's right. not drawn, and we're like, okay, we can keep going. Right. <laughs> so yeah. it's really it, interesting to, to. to keep yeah. going with the, the drawing going, and the bigger the pot will be and yes the more money people can win so yep so if, you, if, so I, if it's okay for me to ask <laughs> what is your retention on the sales about 50 percent oh. right every week with the with the raffle sales we automatically pull out half and give it straight to club cadillac okay so everything so at the totals that caitlin mentioned um the uh, almost 800 in Queen of Hearts and a little over 700 in King of Diamonds. That's the that's the amount uh, that that amount has already been donated to Club Cadillac. So the amount left in the pot is uh, for the winner uh, okay. of the raffle. But no, those every every week that we just split it right in half goes straight to Club Cadillac. And then another thing to uh, good to mention is that those are the totals left over today. 
Right. There's going to be there's a whole week of of sales of ticket sales coming in. So this could actually the pot could actually double by next Tuesday. And so it, when you look right. at the uh, when you look at the Facebook, if you get on Facebook, you can see the picture of which envelopes are left. The mm-hmm. number you get to choose the number of the envelope and no one, no one, no one knows what's inside those car uh, inside those envelopes. So right. somewhere is lurking that queen of hearts in that. So when you look at we'll call it your return on investment. I mean, it is gambling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but, when, <laughs> but when you look at your return on investment, it's much higher yes. than what would you you would see in other forms of gambling. And it's yes. it sounds like a 50-50, except a lot more fun. Yeah, yes. yeah it, well, right. It does. It sounds like mm-hmm. a yeah, 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 way more fun. And like you're sitting there biting your nails because you want your buddy to win, but you don't want your buddy to win because you got to raise more money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ashley, how long have yes. you been a, a member of the Cadillac community? Um, well, I've lived here for the last 15 years. Okay. So, um, over the last couple of years, um, I've just been like, I've just had this like urge to want to participate more in the community and mm-hmm. just be more involved in, um, then Beth Miller, who is our leader, she is like one of my best friends. So mm-hmm. I then got involved with the leadership program because I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it and see what it is. Mm-hmm. And then um, my boss is wonderful and he was all for me being a part of this. So I'm glad that I did it because I've met a lot of really great people and I've seen a lot of really great things so far. And that's uh-huh. that's something awesome. I want to bring up too because uh, I know the leadership class, it, 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 it's a lot of demand on your it time. It is. And every it one is. of your employers have had to give you up for a certain right. amount of hours every week yes. to do that. And that's kind of an investment in you mm-hmm. as an yes. employee. Mm-hmm. Plus there's great. a cost. Right. There is a cost, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so. um, and you know we all get to network with each other and for businesses hopefully that in return will bring back some of that money hopefully that they spent sending Mm -hmm. us to this class but um yeah i mean not every week can everybody show up obviously we have obligations at work and i haven't been able to participate every week but i think for the most part everybody tries their best to really put in the effort so so. actually we we want to hear about the dinner Okay, (laughs) so we have decided to do just like a smaller dinner um, as our other main fundraising event. So it is going to be an Italian dinner night and a silent auction, and that is going to be held at, um, or wait, not a silent auction, I'm sorry. (laughs) It's a raffle, not a silent auction. Um, It's like, um, yeah, it's a raffle that we're going to do. We're going to have like multiple like gift baskets set around and then people can purchase a ticket and then just go up and put your ticket in like the bucket in front of the prize that you want and then we'll draw one winner at the end um but the dinner will be held on april 18th um doors open at 5 30 dinner is served at six and this is going to be at um the after 26 depot so we decided to have it there because the members that they have working there are also a part of like Club, Club Cadillac. Right. Mm-hmm. So we figured that would be like the perfect place to do it. Um, right. It is going to be a smaller dinner. So I think it's about 70 tickets we have available. So if you're wanting to participate, I encourage you to please, please contact somebody from the leadership class um, for a ticket. Go to the Cadillac.org website for the chamber or even purchase your ticket at the After 26 Depot. Um, just because there is such a limited amount of tickets we're able to sell. Ashley, I have to ask this because yes. I'm a foodie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the menu? Okay. So we decided <laughs> um, chicken Alfre- Alfredo, right? Ooh. Yes. Yes. And then just like a salad and like mixed vegetable and like garlic bread. Just right. very simple, mm-hmm. but really good. And mm-hmm. it's just, it's not about like the dinner and what we can give to people. It's obviously, if you're going to come, you know that your money is going to a good cause and it's just about helping out our project and getting um, the money raised for this amazing group, Club right. Cadillac, and just doing what you can to help them out. So How much are tickets? Go ahead. They are... Fifty dollars, okay, a piece. Who can take credit for making it an Italian dinner night? Is that somebody else on the uh, on the crew, or? Oh, uh, that'd be me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason. I don't. 
Uh, that'd be me. The reason, and the reason why I say this is because one of the more common, I, I wouldn't call it complaints, but observations uh-huh. about yes. what, what there Cadillac is, no is Italian missing. There is Italian food. Yes, yes, the, yes, yes, yes. Don't yes. even get me going on that. Well, I know, I your, know. To your point, if, if you have it's true. You know, children between the ages of 20 and 35, let's say, I, I'm not lying, consistently, they want Alfredo. Yes. They want Alfredo. Yes. They want either chicken Alfredo, seafood Alfredo, or fettuccine Alfredo. Just plain. Right. You know? So I, I hear that a lot. And for the chefs out there, we know Alfredo isn't a complicated sauce, but you do need, you know, your butter and your cream and your Parmesan. And you do have to watch it or it will congeal and this and that and whatever. And your noodles have to be. So when you say, you know, it's not about the dinner, I agree. But you tell me where you can go. But I guess it is about the dinner now. Well, well, a little bit, because with the cost of food, right. it's very yes. hard to go out for a meal like that for, I'd say, less than $30. Yes. So I think you guys are you know, right on the money, and I think it's a, um, a good point to make. It's like, okay, you're, you're coming here to support us. We'll nail it with the food. We know After 26 makes yes. incredible food. We know it's that. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, it's also about your camaraderie and being being a part of something bigger than yourselves. And, you know, when you guys talk about gardening, he and I kind of look at each other because Mary Galvanic is a oh, okay. um, mm-hmm. big guest on the show, frequent flyer, as we say. And we just love to hear about what she's doing with gardening because it's so much more than gardening, so much bigger than that. And for it these is. folks to have something to do together that results in a healthy product. And then uh, Beth told us that they're preserving this i mean they it's just do. big they they can and they preserve their food and they that is what they use to feed themselves every day there it's like wow. and anybody can even go in there whenever you like for lunch a day like once a day or if you want to go there to visit it's like a dollar right to and they'll serve you lunch and you can like eat with them so awesome. um it's just yeah it, it's it's definitely much more than just giving them a garden and they're so passionate about it too. Like when we announced our project to the club, I was the lucky one who got chosen to announce it, announce it. So it was really amazing to see like how ecstatic they are. They're so right. happy and so grateful. And it's just, I definitely fell in love as soon as we heard their skit, I guess at our Shark Tank event, like I was like, yep, I'm, nope, I'm done. We're sold. <laughs> like it was the first one They're I think that we saw too. It was the first one. And I'm like, yep, nope. Can you, <laughs> tell, it, can you tell us a little bit about the skit that, uh, that, that, oh my gosh, that tipped if I remember. the scales in their favor? They were just like, they were gardening outside, right? And they were just like, oh my gosh, it's so hot or uh-huh. it's so hard to bend down to... I, I can't remember in detail, but it was just very cute, and they brought a couple people from the club as well, Great. Um, and props, yes. So I, they're the only group that I think that did that, honestly, and it was just, I don't know, it just got my attention, and we were all like, yep, okay. I think we voted that day, too, and we're, most of us were like, yep, that's it. We already know what we want to do. I think it's just too... Um, Mental health in adults is not Mm -mm. talked about. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing for me um, personally. And, you know, it's just Mm -hmm. Club Cadillac helps these people like with, like Beth has said, like with their finances and getting back. They help them get back into the workplace because, you know, if you suffer from a mental illness, there's such a big stereotype around that. And they're not given the chance that they should be given. Mm -hmm. And it's just you hear about adolescents mental health right. children but you do not hear about adults mm-hmm. and it's a stigma it is and that's the big thing i feel like that sold me personally just because it's so important and i i know how bad it can alter someone's life so so ashley to to your point we yes. had the director of after 26 the in one time right around when covid was ending and getting phone calls when can we come back to work this is yeah. the folks that work at after 26 you know think about when 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 you're not working you know you're not always thinking gosh when can i get let's yeah. say you're on vacation <laughs> or you're on a maternity leave your first thought isn't when can i get back to no. work and that those stories also bar from the patriots choir as a as a, has been a guest on the show and her bubbling over enthusiasm is definitely linked to her choir and the passion that they have to sing 
you know? And so mm-hmm. it, everyone just, I think, kind of becomes a better person when you're around this kind of stuff because it's enthusiasm, passion, and purpose for what they're doing. And yeah. it's a reminder to all of us mm-hmm. to, to try to have that. So, so. I, I would like to, uh, on a personal note, thank the members of the Cadillac Leadership uh, Program for asking our DMP students to do your promotional video. Mm. Um, we had uh, Emily from Cadillac and Sully from Lake City uh, shot a video that, is, uh, that, that explains the contest. Awesome. Uh, and, they, and they actually came to our class and pitched the idea to us, and we had two hands go up saying, yeah, I'll do that. And uh, so thank you guys for, it, uh, for involving our class. Collaboration. Yes. Yeah. Costumes. Oh, let's hear about the costumes. Oh, I was trying to prompt him to say the the promo includes um, two of our uh, our team members who have went out and purchased a king and queen of hearts uh, diamonds uh, <laughs> costumes. I'll, oh, you I'll do have to show you. Katie. Stop what you're doing and get stop what you're doing and get on Facebook right now and check that out because it is it is wonderful. And every single Tuesday at one p.m. Thank you, uh, Avon, for le- releasing two of your employees long enough to get all costumed up and come over and help every single Tuesday. Um, but we have these awesome team members who who have done that and they do that but religiously get completely decked out and as they did in that promo that he was talking about. And, so you have to see it. It's the, these are, are actually excellent. done Facebook Live, right? Yes. At one o'clock on Tuesday. These are, yeah. And in in full dress. In full dress in the middle of a work day. That is the level of commitment <laughs> that we're talking about here, guys. So I was in a leadership class in the mid nineties and I'm telling you we were not this. We were <laughs> we were working up just nothing like this. I mean, I'm watching you guys going, I tell you, when this is all over, you're gonna miss each other i think you're going to be friends for life the whole group you know from because there, you've got multiple things going on mm-hmm. in in past i think with projects it's been a little bit more singular and this one thing this one event this is all the parts are moving at the same time because you've got the weekly drawing and then you've got apparently these actors who pull <laughs> off the weekly drawing i'm all about it first of yeah. all i'm gonna buy tickets second of all i'm gonna watch the thing so what were you gonna tell us ashley no, I just, uh, you know, before I we wrap up or anything, I just want to encourage um, businesses, if you haven't already, like, please reach out to somebody from the chamber or the leadership program. We would love to, like, tell you about the our project more in detail and about Club Cadillac. Um, um, we had sent letters out, I think, to every business, honestly, here in town for asking for sponsorship, obviously. But... Um, if yeah, if anyone wants to know anything more about it, we would love to definitely get in contact with you. Um, your money, if you are more than willing to sponsor it, is definitely going for a really great cause, and they appreciate it more than you'll ever know, and we definitely appreciate it more than you know as well. So. Are you still looking for donations for the dinner, or are you are you set on those? Um, we'll we can still take some. We're trying to put together just like bigger gift bas- baskets. Um, honestly, we're just kind of taking what we can get and mm-hmm. we'll just throw the baskets together ourselves to have like multiple, just a good size basket, I guess, you mm-hmm. know? You, the, right. You can co-mingle things. Right. We can and, mix things together yeah, sure. and we are definitely not going to turn anything away. That's for sure. You know, as you guys talk about um, the big picture of what you're doing, I think you're giving the community a big picture. And what I mean by that is it's, it's bigger than the greenhouse. Yes. It's, it's what these what our neighbors our friends and neighbors who we live in the same community with what they face yes. daily yes. and in life challenges things that we take for granted and yes. so thank you for bringing light to that so that everybody can see um their struggles but also their joy yeah so and i hope this definitely raises more awareness to what club cadillac is because i really can probably say most people mm-hmm. in town probably have no idea that it even exists mm-hmm. so Mm-hmm. And we're hoping we can shed some light on it. In the minute or so we have left, we have multiple things to talk about here. Oh. We have two who, what, where's, and when's yeah. dinner and uh, the, the, the the card drawing. The tickets, so yeah. Who, who wants to... Uh, okay, what do you need to know? I'll hurry. <laughs> who, who, what, where... Uh, listen, uh, the minute isn't a hard, is, is not a so hard limit. So for the dinner. Yeah. <laughs> One more time for the dinner. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it is April 18th. Um, doors open at 5.30, dinner is served at 6. Um, tickets are $50 a piece. Like I said, there are limited 
seats for that about 70 so get them now while they are available please and that's um, at after 26 you yes it's at after 26 the dinner is you can go in there and buy a ticket you can contact any one of us um, on the leadership team for a ticket you can also purchase them online on the chamber's website as well and how can we participate in the card game caitlin <laughs> all right you have an um every week you have from now until Tuesday at 10 o'clock, we would like to push it right up to the last minute. You can purchase a ticket from any of the leadership members or the Chamber of Commerce as well if you're interested. Those tickets are $10 a piece. Drawing is at 1 p.m. on Tuesday, every Tuesday until the Queen of Hearts or the King of Diamonds is drawn. And that's on Facebook Live and your uh Facebook page is Cadillac Leadership, correct? Yes, Cadillac Leadership, and we have a live drawing. You'll see us all in dressed up and drawing <laughs> cards and ready to go. <laughs> it sounds like everybody has their role. Yes, yes. That's we, awesome. We're so. breaking it up. We have, everybody gets a part. It's really great, and we have really developed great relationships with the group. It's just it's like all of us are great friends, I feel like, at this Aww. point. It's sweet. And, awesome. and the great part about leadership is it's bringing, it brings people in from all walks of Cadillac. Mm -hmm. all yes. different you know we've got a, a, a family eye care and we have munson represented and we have aquel and uh, manufacturing how yes. about how about some of the others that are represented on the board yes we have the sweet shop we have a manager at the sweet shop we have avon protection we've got cadillac casting has a few members that are right. joining this up year north up north arts is a part of it mm -hmm. um ctc we have um the library, yep, we have the library, Westco, all all walks of type of That's employment. Yes, yes. Baker so College. Baker College, yes. As and well. all employers out there, we implore you for mm -hmm. Cadillac Leadership 2024-25, consider yep. uh, allowing your employee to to serve in uh, in this capacity because it's a wonderful group. And yes. and for the employers that have. Um, sponsor the program and, and send a team member, member thank you yes thank you so much Caitlin Kearns Beth Joseph and Ashley Remington our guests on Cadillac Unscripted support the, uh, the, 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 the big charity event that they're doing and follow them on Facebook at Cadillac Leadership ladies thank you very much thank, thank you, you so much Cadillac Unscripted is sponsored by Independent Bank join us next week same time same station for some more local chat here on